Hi guys, thanks for joining me in the kitchen. I'm kind of already in progress, but not really. So all you missed was that I poured out my black paint and then I couldn't get my fire starter to work. So I stopped, put some butane in it, and I am back. So I've been trying to paint and video for about three days and every possible disaster that could happen has happened. Absolutely everything has happened. So let's try this again. And you know what? We're going to just plow right through it. Amsterdam. Golden ochre. So I'm putting on a, I guess you would call it a low density fiber board. And I'm not sure if I told you in the other video, but I'll tell you all again. And if I have, just fast forward me. Um, my mother picks these up in a little shop in her town, town, little town. And this lady that has a little gift store or something whatever she gets and then they come in these packing crates and these are the dividers and so these are funny shape funny size these are six by 18 they're great to paint on um the only thing i have found is that i have to lay it perfectly flat to dry because it is so low density it will warp so that was my first lesson when i first started painting on these is lay them flat other than that they're perfect so Golden ochre, that the red ruby red was Modern Masters. This is a little bit of shimmer by TLP, and I don't know if you guys can see it has kind of a blue tinge, uh, only because I dropped a dirty popsicle stick in it. Okay, this one is neon orange by Paint from the Dollar Store, no name brand paint, and this is neon pink, also from the Dollar Store. So. I have had just interruption after interruption um, trying to paint. My camera has timed out. I've dropped my phone in the paint. I've knocked over my tripod. I lost power one night. Uh, absolutely everything that could possibly go wrong has gone wrong. Like, seriously. Super frustrating. All right, my friends, let's swipe. So, um, base paints. I posted in Facebook a couple weeks ago, maybe, asking if anyone had tried Dulux paint as a base paint. And some people have said they had, and it worked fine, and others say no, have you, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. So I am here to tell you, at this point, I still have not used the Dulux paint. It's so expensive. So expensive. It's like $84 a gallon, so even two for one is way more expensive than any of the other brands of paint that I buy. So I wasn't prepared to uh, spend that kind of money trying paint. So I had a long discussion with the gal in the paint store and kind of between the two of us, we decided that I would try a mist tint. And so I bought this mist tint and it's this kind of ugly purple color, but it's gonna be just fine for trying to use the Dulux. And we'll see what happens. I just have to mix up some colors that are more complementary for this kind of purpley amethyst background. And we'll try it out. So I've had a few issues going on with base coats. And I don't know if it's just me that struggles with it. Nobody else says they are or what the deal is. But I have a really, really bad time with base coat in white. And I've said almost in every single video, I would just kill to find one paint that works every time without an issue. And I can't seem to come up with one. So I talked to the lady at Dulux for quite a long time. She's quite a knowledgeable girl. And actually, we're going we're gonna to start hiking together. Um, another story. And she said that right now it's really, really hard to buy paint and expect consistency in white because she said the manufacturers have had to do a lot of different changes due to products that they cannot get because you know why. Thank you, COVID. Once again, COVID gets claims another casualty. So um, I still haven't tried it. So I, because I had all these issues with base paint, I bought a million different cans of base paint and I can't get anything working the way I want. 
And so I went back to Walmart Black Onyx because it's a constant. It's I've never had a problem with this black. So I've been debating whether my problem is my base coat or my problem was actually my pouring medium, which I've also used for a really long time too. But then I started wondering, okay, well, maybe my pouring medium, maybe my glue's gone bad or something. So, hang on guys. I need a popsicle stick. Last night I dumped out my pouring medium, which I was using when I went back to Velspar. So I dumped it out and I made a brand new batch of the Bare 8300 and polyacrylic and everything on black is working perfect. So it's got me stumped. Okay, we're just going to make some lines. Um, yeah, it's got me stumped, so I don't know now if it was my base coat or if it indeed was my pouring medium, but things are definitely back to working better, which makes me happy because it's my Friday, and so I was super eager to paint, but if it doesn't work, then it's frustrating. Frustrating and angering and just kind of adds to the rest of the problems that I've had this week with interruptions and yucky paint and okay it's hard to be me you guys hard to be me all right so let's just spread this around a tiny bit first and then we're going to tip and tilt I'd like to leave some negative space on one side so I'd like to get rid of that big blob of paint too so I think we're just going to make another line in here in yellow and that will take care of that concentration and I like my top so I'm going to go I know you guys are going to have a ton of glare and I can't do anything about it so I do apologize in advance and you know what we're just going to kind of walk it walk it out walk it out you guys we're going to stretch Fairly slowly, you can see that my base paint is quite thick, as are my colors. I like them that way. And that's it. We're just going to keep wiggling this up and down. I love these bright, vibrant colors on the black backgrounds. They're super, super pretty. I think we're going to maybe get rid of quite a bit of this paint on the very bottom of this and keep what's going on on the top. Sorry guys if I lose you here for a second. Like like, 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 love the top part. Don't like the rest. So let's uh, let's just play with it for a minute. We could take out a lot of this. We could take out all of it as far as that goes. Maybe that would be something we could do. So let's just tip it and tilt it. Let's tip some more off. We're going to elongate that on the top. And that might actually solve the, the problem that I'm seeing that I don't like. Oh, <laughs> just... I just put black paint all through my ear, actually. All right, so I don't like this bottom section at all. Nor do I like the plastic bag that I decided to sit this on. And I know better, too. I know I hate that, and I don't know why I did it again, but I did. Right, 
that's not too bad. All right, so definitely there's always areas that I like and I don't like that just wouldn't be pouring with me if I liked everything right away. So I think we're just gonna do a few little, just a few little lines and just to break things up a tiny bit like up here. So we can definitely get a nicer, maybe a nicer look in through here. I'm even okay with these little, little yellow blobs. And then let's just go in here again and kind of give this a little bit more of a floral look up top. We could put another yellow splotch up there, but I think we're just going to leave it. Right like that. Still not totally happy with this but all right I might just leave this like that for now to bring you guys in I'll probably sit and stare at it for a period of time and I may change a few things you never know you just never know like this So that's basically, that's how easy that can be when everything is working well. So as you can see, my black paint, it's working the way it should be. Yeah, and my colored paints are working the way it should be. So I'm stumped again um, because I don't really know what wasn't working other than white. White is not working for me. So I did, like I said, I did buy some purple kind of a mauve color and I'm going to mix up some colors that would be complementary to mauve and we're going to try that. All right, let's uh let's take you off your tripod and bring you over. I can't see anything. Nothing because of glare. And you probably can't either. So there it is, the whole piece. It's quite pretty. Um it's pretty 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 pink. Pink and yellow. All right, my friends, I apologize. I, I really have no idea how to eliminate the glare, but that gives you a general idea when everything is working, just how simple it is. If my consistency is bang on and my colors are bang on, then the rest is kind of just by luck that I get a composition that I'm happy with. Uh, not always, not always. And yeah, we'll go from there. So. I'm just going to take you over to the wall for a second. I don't really know how to do that without tripping everybody out. Sorry, guys. So a couple people asked me about um, how I hang these fiber boards. And I said that my mom made these really cool little frames. And so I'm going to show you what they look like. They're just super simple. Here we go, my messy world. So this is one that I did and these frames are just literally little strips of wood and my mom at 81 has basically put a groove all the way in them and I am able to just slide these fiber boards in there just like that. Just like that. And so the other thing I'm going to take you guys over to see is my other question was how I put the copper tape or what the copper tape looks like on tiles. I don't have that many. There's my granddaughter's butterflies on the window. So these are a few of my tiles that I do have copper edges on them. Um, and they actually have just the D-ring hooks. They hang like that on my kitchen wall. I'm super happy with them not framed. And the backs of these aren't done because these are for me. But there's the copper tape. If you can see what it looks like, it's just... It's just super simple copper foil taping and it just kind of finishes them off quite tidy. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me in the kitchen tonight. I apologize for taking you on this sort of scenic tour, um, but there really isn't much way that I can show you without doing it. All right, guys, poor happy, stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon. It's super fun to get together and paint and do some things. So yeah, let's do it again, you guys, soon. All right, bye for now.